What's up, everybody? I'm trying to stay dry from all this California rain. Man, we're getting drenched. Flooded streets, accidents, mudslides, potholes, puddles, damaged cars. It's crazy out here right now, but I'm doing good. I'm doing okay. Thanks for watching my content and keeping up with the Sports Judge. Be sure to do me a huge favor. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. I really, really appreciate it. I didn't think Eric Benamy would return to the commander's coaching staff. Usually when a new coach comes in, he brings some of his own staff he prefers on board. That's normally how it works. That's usually how it goes. That's what happens when a new coach comes in. He hires the guys he wants to be a part of his coaching staff. So there shouldn't be a surprise that Eric Benamy is out as the OC in Washington. I am fibergasted, fibergasted by the fact that you replace him with Cliff Kingsbury. That's the best you can do? Really? Your guy was Cliff Kingsbury? It's hard to know. What to make of this? I think it's a bad move. Wait, Cliff Kingsbury as your offensive coordinator, it's hard to get excited about this team. The simple fact that the commanders made this move tells me this Washington team will go after a quarterback. That's what it tells me. There is no way you bring in Cliff Kingsbury and don't go after Caleb Williams in the upcoming draft. There, there's just no way. That's the first thing that came to mind when I first learned that the commanders have brought him on. I'm probably in the minority for saying this, but I don't like this hire. People telling me this is a good move. I go on Twitter, read people's tweets about how much they like this hire. What? You like this hire? It's so fascinating to me how he continuously land good jobs, not because of what he knows, but who he knows. What's so special about Cliff Kingsbury? I've been trying to figure that out for years. For everybody saying this was a good hire, newsflash. He was 35 and 40 during his career at Texas Tech after a disappointing 2018 season. He was the head coach of the Cardinals from 2019 through 2022, posting a 28-37-1 record over four seasons. The Cardinals fired him after the 2022 campaign. How does this make sense to hire him? Make it make sense. I think the, the commanders should have retained Eric Benamy. And to those saying this was a steal, how was it a steal? It wasn't like he was this hot commodity in line for a head coaching gig. So stop with so stop with this nonsense about this being a steal. In what world is he this offensive genius that we made him out to be? In what world? I have a hard time with that. The man currently brought on board to captain the ship has been seen as this savvy innovator, this quarterback developer. And yeah, you, you can see how a reputation has formed because he gets credit for Mahomes' development, the universal praise, the relationships he has built with people and the impact he has he has on a generational quarterback who is now the face of the NFL, got him in the door. It's basically a major reason why NFL teams continue to touch him. Based on his track record, Kingsbury is a bad fit. To me, he's a bad fit. I don't think, I don't think it moves the franchise going forward. I don't think he will last long if we're being honest. You picked an OC with a resume filled with very little success. Dan Quinn should really have to answer to this. 
He should really have to answer to this. He has some explaining to do. Nobody cares what Kingsbury did at Texas Tech. That was years ago. And before he took this job, Kingsbury was expected to take over as the offensive coordinator with the Las Vegas Raiders earlier this week under new head coach Antonio Pierce. On Saturday, however, Kingsbury reportedly withdrew his name from consideration after a breakdown in contract negotiations. In contract negotiations. So basically, there was a dispute. But it's not surprising he backed out. He has commitment issues. That, that makes me wonder if he doesn't know how to do his job in the NFL. I have my questions. That was the best news for Raiders fans that he backed out. That was the best news. That's a blessing for Raider Nation. Kingsbury has a losing record everywhere he's coached. Josh McDaniels 2.0. You want to go through that again? Hell no, you don't. And the play calling? There's nothing nice to say about it. Kingsbury is a horrible play caller who never had any business being an, an OC or a head coach. He's an awful play caller. Comes up with some of the worst play calls. He came up with some of the worst play calls in Arizona. And he's even worse when it comes to managing the game. This was a bad move for the Washington Commanders. They were better off sticking with Eric B. Enemy. Thanks for watching, everyone. Really appreciate the love and support. Talk to you guys next time. Have a good night.